I think before we get through the stage four street cross races, I think the best option I have at this stage is to get through the hidden races first and then I'll get through the out to run races afterwards because I reckon that will probably be the best way for me to go about this. Anyways, let's begin with our first one as we begin with a street cross race. Yo, yo, yo. You really bring in that sorry sled onto my street cross track? You know you gotta drive it around the track. You can't push it, right? Do you want to see the track map before you put your bank in? I've already seen the track map and it is one I have beaten before. I'm also fairly certain I will beat it again. Because I'm doing this on the easy difficulty, as I've said numerous times before, for stage 4. And then once we're done with stage 4, and I've got that final sponsor, then I will go back to probably the medium difficulty, just to make this a little bit more challenging. So we've got an Eclipse, an IS-300, and a Skyline GTR as our competition here in the street cross and it looks as though at this stage I am very much going to pull away with this thing and that's a wall I might have prevented my odds of pulling away with this thing now running too wide through some of these corners. Oh well, I'll get this whole thing figured out somewhat. If that becomes possible at some stage, hopefully. Oh, okay. Not precisely what I had in mind, but... Well, if it looks like it works, then it works. Oh yeah, I should also mention the street cross races might also make the odds of me capturing the high quality wrap points less and less likely if I make multiple mistakes. Yeah, I don't think that's enough for 300. Oh, five seconds. That might be enough. I don't think it will be, but it'll surprise me if it is. Either way, we're still pretty much on track to getting the Grady sponsorship for now. So five seconds over Russell, seven seconds over Alden, and Tom finished 9.67 seconds behind me. Okay, not quite 300, but that's okay because we are pretty much on target to reaching the minimal wrap points required. And then once we're done with that, we should be able to work our way into reaching... Yeah, thanks, Rachel. Sorry, what was I saying again? Oh, yeah. Ah, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. As long as I get at least 275 wrap points at the end of stage 4, then I think we should be good in terms of getting our final sponsor clinched. Which I think is the minimal 
average rap score you need in order to score the sponsor signing with in order to score the sponsor signing with Grady. At least I think that's what it is. And what do you know, we have another doozy to this. A drag race. And it comes from Harlan. Well, 2.2k once again, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do myself a favour, shut up, and get on with it and see if I can literally blow the bloody doors off, as Michael Caine once put it, off my competition. So we got a Supra, a Hyundai, I can't quite see what the other car is. Unfortunately. And short shifting into fourth gear immediately because I don't want to over rev the engine. And really trying to motor on through these gaps here. I think I've got this. If I can score 200, then I should be okay. But either way, 1.8 seconds over Harlan, Matteo third, and Nigel was fourth. Oh, okay. I would gladly take that then. 300. Okay, let's get our replay now. Yeah, I simply figured that... As a tactic, for me personally, if I am going to work my way through this game logically, then my best option is to get through the hidden races before doing the street cross races. Because then it means I've got some money on the board for the outruns, and it also means that I have enough money to buy some expensive parts for my car at the end. Okay, anyways. Two races down and still eight races to go. However, I'm not going to be doing all of these tonight because, well... It's nearly midnight at the time of when I'm recording this, and well... Because I've been at this again, making good progress... I figure once I'm done with the... ...races here in the... ...Bayview City Core, the hidden races that is... ...I think that's when I'll call it a night, because, well... ...I've been making some good progress, and also because, well... I'll obviously be heading to bed soon. I've also had a long day as well because, well, I've been involved in uh, doing some shopping. Okay, anyways. Let's now head over to our next two hidden races. And it's another street cross race. Oh, correction. We got a circuit race and a street cross race. I will do the street cross race first. Here's how this race is going to work. I'm going to beat you real good, and then when you finally make it to the end, you wake me up from my nap so I can get paid. I'm sure I'll be plenty tired of waiting for you at the finish line. Deal? Deal. Stefan, you literally do not know just how fast my car really is. Because I have a pretty damn fast car if I do so so myself. And I will blow your doors off. So we got a Subaru Impreza, an Audi A3, and a VW Golf GTI. In terms of our competition here. Probably not going to mention the cars in this race every single time, but... 
I don't think it really matters as long as you can see what cars are in these races from the leaderboard results then, well, that's about the only thing I really care about. I will mention the car names most of the time in terms of what we have regarding competition, but on other occasions, well, I'll just simply decide not to bother, either because I don't feel like it or because I'm too tired from the work I put in earlier on. So, you know, there is that. Anyway. We shall continue. I'm also pretty sure it's going to be after midnight by the time I'm done with this race. Or it's going to be midnight by the time I'm done with this. But either way. I don't think it really matters too much because, well, right now, I'm not doing too badly. Alright, final lap. And I now have an 8 second gap over my next best rival, that should be more than good enough for me to get the 300 rep points. And it looks as though I'm going to get those easily. Alright, three races down and still seven races to go. Huh. 11.2 seconds in the end over Stefan. Scott was third, and it was Ryan who came home fourth in the Subaru Impreza WRX STI. We are moving along very nicely at the moment. So let's see if we can continue that. Hopefully. We also have two more races left to do in the city core once we're done up this side of the street. I'm also pretty sure one of them is going to be a drift race. But anyway, let's get through our circuit race first. I'll make it quick. You put in the bank and we provide the course route. You up for some real races? Borwin, I can assure you, I will always be up for rear races. I'm also tucking my desk chair quite deep in because, well, I'm trying to see if I can at least stop my back from aching as much. But anyways, so we get two Nissan Skylines and... A Mazda RX-8 as our competition here. And... Already taking the lead. Doesn't take me too long to get there. And it looks as though from here, I'm now just going to pull away from my competition, providing... I do not get cooked by the taxis. Or too much traffic by the time we get to the end of this thing. Because traffic will obviously cook me at some point. But hopefully it will not happen until after I am already well out in the lead. Again, stage 4 is the most pivotal part when it comes to achieving 100% of this game. Because it will give you enough rep points if you do it on the easy difficulty. It will give you enough rep points to... officially acquire 
the Grady sponsor. Which, as I've mentioned numerous times before, is the final piece to the jigsaw puzzle you need to get with. And you also need to do all of the stage 4 races on easy in order to achieve that. And so far, so good. It's also just taken me over two minutes to set the first lap. And with two minutes ten flat as being the lap time I just set. And downshifting as I slide my way through the tunnel and also using my nitrous so I don't get bogged down in fifth gear. And that's a wall. But we're okay, because I am moving away from my competition. And that is precisely what I need to be doing at this stage. So, one lap is down. I think we're now approaching the halfway point of lap two whilst we're here. And heading up by the gas station and getting on the brakes so I can slot through. And it looks as though from here I might be able to achieve something good. And now we just have a few more corners left to negotiate on this lap. And then by the time we get to the end of the next lap, we should be in decent form is what I think. But anyways, heading through the final corner now. Looks like it's going to take me two minutes to set my second lap at least. And that took me two minutes and five seconds. So only four and a half seconds faster than what my previous lap time was. But anyway, final lap of hidden circuit race number one. Up to this point, I've done two street cross races and one drag race. And providing everything goes smoothly from here, and there is not going to be another power cut during recording. I'm pretty sure there will, there will not be a power cut during recording. At least I hope there won't be. Like there was... I think it was last week. Or the... I couldn't tell you when it was, but... During recording one time, whilst I was on this game, well, the power suddenly shut off. I really could not explain how it happened. It really did shock me when it happened, but it was okay, because apparently as it might be, I did save the game, so I didn't have to redo any of the races I I had already done, but anyway. So, now going through the final corner of the Stage 4 Hidden Race Circuit 1. As I'm slamming the wall on both sides, doesn't look like I'm going to get a sub 2 minute time, but I will try and get close. I came closer than I thought I was going to get, because I set 2 minutes 1.79 as my best lap. So Lawrence came home second in the Mazda RX-8, Martin was third, and Borwin 
came fourth in the second Nissan Skyline GTR. 2 minutes 1.81 was my best lap time. Nearly 5 seconds quicker than the next best lap time. And my top speed in the end was 178.6 miles per hour with an average speed of 115. Okay, there we go. So, four races down, six to go. Let's keep this moving. I've already, I've already recorded the replay, by the way, because I got a thumbnail from the drag race I did with the Hyundai. I can also say that we're now up to 14.8 grand, more or less, and we've now got more window tents, which means getting to the six-star rating with this car visually is now going to be easier. So in terms of our hidden races, we've now done two street cross, one drag, and one circuit. And now we'll be doing two drifts, with the first one coming from Dan. I say let's go. Just sipping my water whilst I'm at it because I gotta stay hydrated. And also, it has now gone past midnight. Anyways, so we get a Mitsubishi Eclipse, a Subaru Impreza, and last but not least, a Toyota Celica as our competition here in our first hidden drift race of stage four. I'd also imagine once this race really gets going, I'll be able to put some pretty sizable points on the board, is what I think. Because that seems to be what I uh, normally do. And quite frankly, I'd say I do it pretty well. In case you uh, want to know just how well I do it. Well enough to now be up to 44,000. And I'm steadily closing in on 50,000. I've now gone over 50,000. Oh, okay. I'm so glad I did not hit the wall in that instance. But I can definitely say I benefited from it because I'm now up to 74,000. Well, 78,000 now. These numbers just keep adding as I keep going along, but either way, it's okay, because I am still chalking up the numbers, which is precisely what I need to be doing at this stage. And I'm keeping myself in good form at this stage, is what I think. So yeah, I'd say we're doing pretty good at the moment. I'm now up to over a hundred thousand, over a hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah, I've pretty much won this race now with a hundred and twenty-two k, thirty-four thousand points over Dan. Jazz was third, and it was Amy who came home fourth. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, next. And then I can call it a night and get on with the other four races, either tomorrow or another day. because I do have other priorities to think about. And obviously with my uh, uni work assessments coming up, 
I do have to think about those, you know. Was the drift of Ant invisible there for a moment? And this one is coming from Ted. How about no? Also, have I not proven to you how many times I've literally kicked your ass in these drift races? Because if I haven't, then this is probably going to be the time where I do show you just how much of an ass whooping I'm going to give you. So I've got a Vauxhall Corsa, a Nissan 350Z, and a Toyota Celica as my competition here. Which I reckon is a good thing. And so we begin. And already I'm immediately slamming the big points on the board early, which is precisely what I need to be doing. Because I can do that. And right now, I'm doing pretty good. Especially since I'm now up to 70,000 on the board in terms of my overall score. Which tells me that at this stage... I seem to be doing pretty well. And there we go. I win! Three hundred rep points and another twenty two hundred credits in the bank. I think that should now bring us up to about nineteen thousand, I think. Anyways. There we go. And now I think this is probably gonna be a good stopping point for tonight, as I will get on with the other for races either tomorrow or another day but one thing that's for certain is I am moving along with this nicely and what that also means is I'm working at it which makes this all the more useful but there we go so Six of our ten secret races have now been found, and they've been cleared. And... At this time, we are now halfway through this game overall. And... Either tomorrow, or whenever the next time I do this, we will be finishing the hidden races of stage four. The next day. We are now in Beacon Hill for race number seven of the stage four secret races as this one which you can see right now is hidden right behind the Burger King restaurant and that's precisely where we are heading now as of which well we're literally just standing right outside the Burger King restaurant now as I speak so this is the location of secret race number seven and this SMS is coming from Cindy man that ride of yours is sick and I don't mean in a good way either somebody call a doctor cause you're nigh Sorry, 
Somebody call a doctor because your ride needs some serious work. I gotta tell you, I don't know if it can be saved. Honestly, Cindy, considering the state, I can confidently say Britain is basically in right now. I'd practically be amazed if anyone can be saved in CPR, but that's just coming from me. Anyways, so we get a Nissan 350Z, a Nissan Sentra, and last but not least, another 350Z. I believe I got all those right. Anyway. Immediately dipping to the shortcut, because that is an obvious way to take the lead. And immediately, I... I'm already getting some pace on the board. A little bit early there on the brakes, but either way, it did help me to avoid slamming into a taxi. And now it looks as though from here, like, I am now gonna go off and basically tear myself away from my competition. I also did not think the game itself was going to load there for a second. No, I don't think it really matters. It might just be because I only turned it on a few minutes ago. Anyway. Back up to speed once again. Like the crash itself that just happened, never did happen. Anyways, got a big enough gap for maximum wrap points, and through the final corner, and there we go. Seven races down and still three to go as I beat Roger to the line by 10 seconds, Cindy was third in the Nissan Sentra, and it was Joshua who came home fourth in the second 350Z. Alrighty, 300 wrap, 2200 bank, let's now keep our momentum going. As I now need to head into Jackson Heights in order for us to get to our final three hidden races of stage four. And here it is. And believe it or not, unsurprisingly, it's another drag race. Ew. You want to drag with us? You better bring some horses. When I get to the finish line, I'll be sure to set up a sundial so we can get an accurate time on that hunk of junk you call a car. Hey, Demetrius. Suck my dick. Although then again, this is probably going in the same direction as the traffic, so it might not be as bad. Well, we'll wait and see what happens, but I'm not looking forward to this one either way, because, well... Oh, okay. Oh, we're starting in Coal Harbour this time. Okay. I might have a bit more luck this time. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on the nitrous until I really need it this time. I 
Okay, I think I've got the rut points this time. Surely I must. Okay, I've definitely got the rut points this time. I was pretty sure I very nearly hit 200 by the time we got to the end. Anyways, so 6.8 seconds, the margin of victory over Andy. Lily was third, so we had two Peugeot 206s in that race. And Demetrius came home fourth in the Toyota Supra. Hey Demetrius, you can suck my dick. Anyways, there we go. Also, hey guys, did I mention I really hate drag racing in this game? As in, I really do genuinely hate drag racing in street racing games because you've just got no control over what's going to happen in front of you unless you can somehow miss it anyway let's head over to race number nine which is located all the way at the top of this road and then once we're done with that we need to head over to the observatory for our final race. So let's head up to the top of the mountain. Here it is, and it's another sprint race. I think this is now the second sprint race I've done, as far as I'm concerned. Although I'm not keeping track of what it was I did yesterday. Of course, this is another day when I'm recording the uh, second part of this. Anyways, it comes from Corey. Yo Flammy, you wanna run a sprint with the big boys or what? All you need is some bank, so what's it gonna be? Corey, I will say game on, and accept your challenge every step of the way. Bring it on, boy. Since I'm probably gonna whoop your ass anyway. Because this is easy. Anyways, so we get a Toyota Celica, a Infiniti G35, and is that a Nissan Sentra I see there? Oh, it's, oh, correction. I'm pretty sure that's a Pontiac that I just saw there. In other words, a Pontiac GTO. I'm pretty sure that's what the fourth car is. Anyways, not gonna risk going through the... Botanical house, because if I do, then well... I will basically cause this car to flip. And as you might have guessed, I do not want that to happen. And things at the moment are not going particularly well. But, I can turn this around. And I will see if it's possible for me to turn this around. If that's at all possible. Yeah, I went way too wide there to take the shortcut. But it's okay. Yeah, even though I did win the drag race, I basically decided that my only option was basically to restart it until I got some rep points, and then, quite amazingly, when I did get the rep points, I basically decimated the field because, well, they supposedly wrecked themselves in traffic. And unlike Demetrius, who basically totaled himself, the other two finished, but they finished with quite a handy deficit to me. Probably because the traffic intervened. Most likely anyway. 
However, that still doesn't mean my hatred for drag racing and street racing games is gonna phase away is gonna phase away anytime soon. Unless it's on an enclosed environment. That's probably the only way you're gonna stop me from hating it. Because about everything else, I've just got no control over. If there's anything in this game I can confidently say I hate, that is probably the one thing. But again. It could also be because, well, I might have a few skill issues when it comes to drag racing. And 11 seconds over Brent in the Infinity G35, Corey was third in the Toyota Celica, and it was Cliff who came home fourth in the Pontiac GTO. Alrighty. One race remains in the Stage 4 Secret Races. And all we need to do now is head straight over to the Observatory to get there. This should hopefully be fun. As long as it is not another drag race, I'll be looking forward to it. Just over here, and as you can see there, by that massive telescope. Okay, it's a circuit race. I would gladly do this. And it comes from John. I'll make it quick. You put in the bank, and we'll provide the course route. You up for some real races? Always. I'm gonna take another sip of water whilst I'm here. Do bear with me a sec. The only car I can see here is the Audi TT, unfortunately. Anyways. So we get a Mazda RX-8, a Audi TT, and a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8. And immediately just like that, I basically storm my way up into the lead. And quite uncontestably as well. because it kind of sucks to say that I have to do most of these races, if not all of these races in stage 4 on the easy difficulty, just so I can secure the last sponsor. I know to some of you who prefer more of a challenge like I do, I know you may think this sort of thing sucks, but Hopefully, by the end of the day, my average rep score will be high enough to get me the required sponsor. And then once I am done with that... The rest of this game for me should basically be a clean slate. Excuse me. Should basically be a clean slate of me working my way up to 100%. But hey, whoever says doing one stage of the game on the easy difficulty is a bad idea. As much as I sometimes wish I wasn't. But either way, I need to do this. I'm doing this for the sponsorship. I'm also doing this so... I don't have to prove 100% as possible again. 
unless I really want to go through a redux let's play of this game at some point. But considering how far I've come, and considering the amount of times I've had to basically redo this, I'm kind of hopeful in saying I won't have to do this whole game over again, but if I do, then I do. But hopefully this time, I'm pretty confident in saying that I hopefully won't. I'm also pretty sure I can go back up to the medium difficulty once I'm done with the career mode. Anyways, I win. With a time of 3 minutes 25.76. Winning by 17 seconds over Matt. Watchtack was third and John came home fourth. And we did have a Mitsubishi Lancer with an Audi TT and a Mazda RX-8 as our competition in that race. And there we go. I'm now going to save the game because I already have a replay recorded. I also recorded the replay from the first race I did which I'm pretty sure was a drag race. Anyways. We are now done with the hidden races of stage 4 and I think what I'm now going to get it on with will be the outruns. So we're now 51% complete with the game so just over halfway 114 races are now done, so I think we have 108 left. We still need to do the other things, of course, but... For now, we've done all the hidden races, and now... The only things that remain are the outruns, the street crosses, the special events, and of course the URLs. Next up, we will be doing the outruns because there's a guy right in front of me and also because to me this makes the most sense so yeah the stage four outruns will be coming up next no 